October 10th, 2016, another day of action on the Dakota Access Pipeline. The following video is about a prayer ceremony on the pipeline that was later described by the local sheriff as a riot. When we came, there were no DAPA workers on site. All we did was come and pray for the land. It was the police that showed up with all the lethal weapons and tanks. Some of the warriors got together and constructed a teepee frame as a place to pray. We come here to show solidarity. We have relatives who are locked down to the machines where they're working right now. Today we stand in solidarity with those relatives who are making a sacrifice on behalf of the land and water. Today we show solidarity between all nations to protect the sacred water, to stand for life to stand for water, to stand for future generations. We're gonna stand today. We're gonna be brave and show that this is still treaty territory. This is still belongs to the Lakota people. One group of people came from as far away as Argentina to share their prayers and dance with us. While some people may not understand what these dances represent, you can hardly call this a riot. None of us had weapons. None of us had bad thoughts in our heart. All we wanted to do is pray for the land and go away. It was at the end of their dance when the buses started coming across the prairie bringing the boys and brown. We knew we were in for a confrontation, but we still remained peaceful. When the boys came on us, they marched in a platoon-like formation, all carrying billy sticks, face shields, and some of them were carrying lethal weapons. The police have claimed all along that we were the ones inciting riot. We were the ones causing trouble. But I ask you to look at this. Who do you think were the aggressors? I'm looking at an AR-15. These are lethal weapons. We have no weapons. They marched in in two separate squads of about 20 to 30 men each. Both squads marched like this down the side of the road. The first squad went right through the protesters and out into where the teepee was. The second group of officers came in and began telling people to get back across the barrier which they did, as you can see here. There was no riot. There was no violence. It was said by the Morton County Sheriff that a group of protesters surrounded the officers with a red banner. The whole time I was there, I saw no indication that this was going on. During a short period of time, it took for them to clear the water protectors off the pipeline right away. They had arrested 27 people, including one old grandma who only brought her sacred pipe there to pray for the earth. When the police ordered the water protectors to leave, you can see how they left. They left in an orderly fashion. There was no violence. There was no indication of a riot whatsoever. Morton County Sheriff's Office claimed they shut down the road because we were walking up and down the road making it dangerous. That's not what I saw. When we left, we left in an orderly fashion. There was no riot. There was no violence. There was no need for all of this firepower. As always, the helicopter was a constant. One thing about this trip, though, at least somebody in the helicopter is thinking about us. Time to wake up, America, and consider the hundreds of thousands of dollars being wasted in North Dakota defending the Dakota Access Pipeline and broken treaties.
We love our land, we love our water, we love our people, we love our traditional way, we like who we are. Oh.